Hi guys, so being as it was New Year's Day yesterday, I thought I'd share a New Year's story and talk a little bit about habit formation. So yesterday I ran past what looked to be a seasoned jogger as he gave me a New Year's, New Year me nod of approval. Little did he know that I was running past him only to pick up some croissants and muffins, but that's neither here nor there. In yesterday's post, I shared a book review of James Clear's book, Atomic Habits, and he talks about four rules for promoting good habits. One of those is make it easy. I think it's too easy for people to become overwhelmed by exercise selection. I think make it easy, choose one exercise that's related to your goals that you can master and perfect that before you worry about getting overwhelmed by 30 new exercises to lose belly fat. None of those work, by the way, it's called a calorie deficit. But anyway, so choose one exercise that you think is gonna to lead to your goals. I'd probably pick something that maximizes the amount of muscles used or something that's gonna provide a foundation for you later in the year when gyms hopefully reopen. So maybe something like a squat or even something like the humble push-up. Next thing, make it obvious. So if, for example, your goal is to uh, watch less TV, then put the remote in the loft and place a book on your table rather than the TV remote. Next, make it attractive. So for example, if you are wanting to train this year or pick up an exercise habit, then make it something you enjoy doing. Sounds obvious, I know. Many people think that because something's obvious that it's somehow a little bit less valuable. Uh, and finally, uh, make it rewarding. Something that I was doing uh, towards the back end of last year was something as simple as a habit tracker. So literally printing off a calendar, writing down the habits that I was gonna do and ticking them off when I've done them. This is works unbelievably well and digs into a lot of habit psychology. This is why you'll be pinged with reminders. This is why Fitbit congratulates you on 10,000 steps. And it just helps to complete that habit loop uh, is spe specifically that reward phase. So make it easy rather than deciding that you're going to run for an hour, literally put your shoes on and go for a walk. Uh, make it satisfying. So uh, reward yourself, but make sure that that reward is consistent with the new identity you're trying uh, to build. So it's not really much point going for a half an hour run and then rewarding yourself with a donut because that's just in a uh, conflict with the identity you're trying to build. Uh, make it attractive. So make it something you actually want to do. And if nothing else, make it easy. Start with a minute of training, not an hour run. And finally, make it satisfying. Use some form of exercise tracker to help build your consistency and to show you how far you've come. Hope you found that useful. Catch you again in the next video.